This tutorial is to show you how to remove uh, the logic board from a PlayStation 3 40 gig hard drive. I couldn't find one on YouTube that showed you the steps on how to do that so I'm gonna do this and hopefully uh, it helps somebody else. Uh, this is my son's PlayStation. It has the yellow light of death what they call uh, and I'm gonna we're gonna do a reflow on the chip itself. So the first thing you do is you take out the the sticker that covers the screw um, for the top cover. So once you take this out, take that out, you actually need to use a star screwdriver. Uh, it would be a T16 bit. Okay, remember that T16 bit, but it's gotta it's gotta be the security one with the one with the hole. You stick that in there, take out the screw, okay, once the screw's out, put it aside, and then the cover should slide off towards you, in this case towards me, to the left of the unit. So cover's off, okay, now this exposes the cover, the top cover. The top cover has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Six of the screws are the exact same size. The seventh one is a smaller screw and it's marked with an S. So I don't know if it's for small or what, but we're gonna take these screws off. Okay. And here you can see the smaller screw. Okay. That's another one. Another screw. Okay. Just remember they're all marked with an arrow, so don't worry about it if you don't know exactly where the screws go as long as you remember that there's an arrow okay once those screws are off okay all these screws the cover is removed towards the front so work your way around it There we go, and tilt it up and out. These are latches that latch onto the, the front of the unit. So when it goes back in, it goes back in the exact same way. Make sure that the front latches are in and then slide it back. And that should, as long as it's straight in the front, you should be good on the back. So that one's off. That exposes the actual unit, power supply, and Blu-ray player. Now, to take out the, the Blu-ray, just lift it up and you can actually take out this tape. Actually, first remove the, this latch, this I mean, connector that's on the motherboard and tilt it away from you. Don't pull it and then remove any tape. This one has tape, some don't have tape covering the connector. And then push the latch up. That latch goes up towards you. So the latch goes up. Once that's out, then you should be able to slide out the, the connector. It's just a little latch. Goes up, okay? Once you do that, put it back in. Push it down so it doesn't damage the connector. Put it aside. Now that the, the drives out, now you need to take out the power supply. Uh, I usually like to take the disconnect the power first before I uh, remove it. So disconnect the connector and take out the screws. There's a total of five screws. There's one up here. Uh, there's another one. There's three M screws. They're marked by, with a, with an M, which are smaller screws. And then there's there's uh, actual two larger screws on the side. 
So remove the first screws from the side. Uh, these are okay. Now the smaller screws. These, these two are on the top. They go on the actual black portion of the power supply. There's a real small screw here. You want to zoom in on it. This one's smaller than the other two screws. Just remember that where this one goes. See, it's smaller. Where's your screws? Total five screws. Now this unit should be able to come right out. So just kind of connectors on this side is going to be tougher. So you push out. Disconnect the connector on the more. There you go. So it connects right here. This where the power the AC goes into the unit itself. Take that out. That exposes the actual unit. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the drive's still in there, so I'm going to take that out. Remove this cover. It's a little cover that covers this, the drive. And there's also a screw on here, but this one's missing it. I don't know what my son did with it, but it's missing the screw. So 